Hi, this is MXUX. This is a uh, short video on the San Felipe 250 Large Town Endurance uh, Baja race. I got some information here that's not around elsewhere. Let's get started with this presentation. I think you'll like it. Okay, this is the basics on the race course. This is the race course here. I think uh, you may have seen uh, this is one loop. They only go around one time. It's about 290 miles. They're hoping not to uh, charge. Initially, that's what they said. Uh, the range on the endurance is 250. Uh, so it's going to exceed the range. They're going to run a beta skateboard. And uh, the initial word was uh, factory motors and battery off the line. So uh, this is run by SCORE, by the way. And this is not a small race. This is a baby brother to the Baja 1000. And these are the guys that run the Baja 1000. So this is in no way a minor race. This is a big deal. Anyway, they're going to have a modified body on the frame, battery, suspension, and motors of the uh, Endurance. And I'm sure they're going to swap out a few suspension components as well. Probably raise the truck, uh, put shocks on it. We'll go over this later. Uh, but uh, it's going to be the basic uh, four-wheel uh, four uh, drive system. And it's going to be a, a, a production uh, proof of concept. And we're going to have our four-wheel drive, uh, full-time four-wheel drive, independently controlled, motor at each, hub motor at each wheel, with uh, traction control, torque vectoring, electronic stability control, um, it's going to put this propulsion system to the test, and I think it's going to show very well because this is a very advanced propulsion system. I think it's the key to the truck, actually. Um, anyway, uh, I have here, they're going to enter the production class. Aha, we're going to see. Surprise on that. Anyway, the, 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 the balance of the, of the platform, the range. Again, with, the, with these four wheel motors, and having the weight on the outside and the battery in the center. I mean, this is a well balanced. I mean, this is a well balanced uh, platform, and um, I think it's going to do very well. I think people are underestimating. And again, I I have found out through my sources that this truck will go 120 miles an hour. You know, a police, uh, you know, a, a police interceptor will go about 130. Okay, so this is a fast truck, and uh, very cool as well. So the four-wheel drive is going to be a big, uh, big deal here. Let's move on to the next slide. Uh, now, initially they were going to. Uh, the word I got was that they were going to run stock full class and, and run a stock. Uh, th this is, you know, for those of you that don't know a lot about racing, uh, they have different classes that they race, and when you have a racetrack. You don't start in the morning and say, all right, we're going to run the small cars first and let them all run. And then we're going to let the bigger cars run uh, next, and we're going to let them all run. And when they're done, we're going to have, you know, the really big pro cars come on, and they're going to run. That's not how they do it. They all run at the same time. And there's different classes, and they have uh, rules and regulations they have to follow, and they do time trials. So everybody races at the same time. And, and your race class is important. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, you, you can look this up for a better description than I can give. But the, the point is, they were they first announced they were going to run stock. But you know, if you look here, uh, 5,000 units must have been produced in a 12-month period, uh, period prior and available for sale to the general public. So they don't fit stock full class. Um, so I have down here, it's hard to say this is the first electric vehicle ever entered. And that's true. It is the first electric vehicle that entered in this race. And I believe it's the first electric vehicle entered in a Baja type race in the United States. Um, there are EVs now that they have a world race of EV trucks that they're trying to put together. There's also a direct car uh, uh, run they do. I believe they had some e-vehicles in that in Africa. But these were kind of experimentals. I mean, this certainly is the first production EV. 
to race as the, you know, uh, Endurance is the first production EV pickup. So this is first, 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 first. Anyway, so anyway, stock full class, no. LMC has its own race class. They created a race class just for uh, Lordstown Motors and the Endurance. It's called Baja E Electric Vehicle. And they are number E414. And there is one vehicle in the class. And it's the Endurance. And I think they're going to do real well in the time trials. And they're going to start first in their class because they're going to be the only ones in their class. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we got uh, we got two drivers here. Uh, well, the, the way they run this race is they have a driver and then they have like a second man in a cab who is a navigator. And uh, he keeps them on the course and tells them steer right, steer left, you know, rocks on the right, turn coming up in. 500 yards. If you watch the race videos, you'll see. And it's a lot like uh, some of the rally races in uh, Europe they do, where they have like a spotter uh, navigator guy sitting next to them. So uh, on Reddit, they're saying this is probably a father and son, Lordstown employees. So everybody's thinking, well, I don't know, where do they get these guys from, you know? Uh, but anyway, they're going to be trained. Uh, the build team uh, that's going to build out the truck, I think, is training them. They also are going to a race school for this kind of racing, I believe. But anyway, you know, who are these guys? Where did they get them? They're from Salem, Ohio, which is right next to uh, Lordstown, Ohio. So these are Midwestern Ohio boys, guys, okay? Looks like a father and son team. I wonder if they know anything about racing. Well, let's see. Uh, there's a history of racing in this area. I'm not, you see, right here, history of racing. I'm not sure if these guys are involved, but they very well could have been. And they may have some race experience. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speculate here based on some information I have on this area. But let's... Uh, Let's just get, this is kind of the exclusive for this uh, uh, video. So let's, uh, let's move on to the next. There's a local racing history here. Not far from Lordstown is Nelson Ledges Road Race Course. And this is a two mile long road race course that's, uh, I think it opened up in 58. And this is a big time course. And this uh, big time race, uh, Road, road race course, and um, this was on uh, on the circuit, SCAA uh, circuit, and they race uh, GTO, GTU, GTP, GT, you know, uh, all the GT classes, and um, uh, they also had a showroom stock class you could race with a, uh, you put a roll bar and a net in the window, and you could take your car out, and you could drive it on the weekend, and uh, now this, this track in recent years, as I understand it, what has happened is uh, this was out in the country and uh, they ended up building some pretty nice homes uh, out in the country there. And the noise uh, abatement was a problem. They were complaining about the noise. I don't know if any of you have ever gone to a road race, but you know, you can hear there are no mufflers in a road race. So you can hear the cars revving and racing you know, for five miles as you're driving up on the place and loud. So anyway, in recent years, uh, they've limited the racing. They still do racing here. They still have racing here. They do different. They do a 24 hour production race here where they take production vehicles and they uh, it's like a Le Mans race for production vehicles and it's showroom stock and they have regular uh, exhaust systems and so forth and they drive for 24 hours. It's a pretty big deal here. But just going over this road race, it's a two long, a two mile long road race, asphalt road race class over rolling, slight rolling hills. I think there's uh, there's a really long back uh, straightaway, and um, anyway, uh, a lot of people have raced here, and uh, I'm just going to go through some of these names. Uh, Michael Andretti went to driver's school here. Peter Cunningham, Michael Galate, 
and a lot of celebrities have raced here. And I'll just go over some of these names. John Oates of Hall & Oates, Tom Cruise, Steve McQueen, uh, Paul Newman used to race his, um, what did he race? I, I think he had a Nissan or a Toyota, which was a GTO car, I believe, road racing car. He used to race here all the time. And as I understand it, he grew up not far from here. So, uh, and you can see here that Newman used to hang around and drink with everybody. And uh, uh, as I understand it, he's a great gay, great guy. I actually have a Paul Newman story, which I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I like Paul Newman. He's a great guy or was a great guy. And he was a great racer. And this was a serious racetrack. And this is, you know, I don't know. 10 minutes from Lordstown. They might have had the Lordstown Endurance out here. Who knows, right? I got word that they were out, this, they were, they were out running this thing on a track at 120 miles an hour. Was this the track? You certainly could reach those speeds here. So this is one of the, one of the tracks. Now, let me just go. We also have Sharon Speedway, which is also not that far, perhaps a little bit farther. And this, I'm going to play this video. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, dirt track racing. These are the outlaw cars, and this is a, a, a dirt track oval racing, and it's very exciting. And uh, you know, many, 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 many people uh, do this type of racing in this area. Uh, when you drive around, you see, uh, I guess, you see. Uh, race cars on trailers and people's driveways. So there's a lot of uh, backyard mechanics that do this kind of racing. And uh, who knows if these guys were involved? We have no idea. But Lordstown might be sandbagging. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. I'm just saying. OK, let's. Next slide. So this is the team that's going to build out the endurance skateboard. Now you're going to have the skateboard. You're going to have the uh, frame, uh, the battery, and the propulsion, the wheel hub motors, and the suspension. Which, as you can see here, they lift these suspensions. They put special socks on them. That's a thing they do. I think they might have changed the length of the control arms and stuff. But this is the kind of modifications they're going to do. Also wheels and tires. Okay. There's a picture at the end. But these are the car builders. These are the two brothers that are going to build out this car. They've been building cars for 12 years. And they started at the bottom working on other race teams and learning how to build uh, trucks. And then they finally had their own race team. And they raced for a while. And they built their own shop. And now they have, uh, you know, they have about 12 years in this, uh, in this racing business. And they have raced, and uh, anyway, they build all classes of trucks. They they build the trophy trucks. They build uh, all all kind of things. You can check out their website. It's pretty interesting. Uh, you can look at their history. They build a lot of winning trucks, a lot of them, and uh, they ain't fooling around. You can see they're kind of serious there. They're kind of serious about the race. That's how these racers are, right? They're serious. Ha! Anyway, if you ever been to the races, you see the look on their eyes. The only other time I've seen that look is if you go to the PGA Tour. Some of the some of the golfers have that look, that like "I will kill you" look. <laughs> anyway, uh, these guys are from T Temecula, California. They're brothers, and they look to be pretty crackerjack. And they, the main thing is, they're winners. They build winning trucks, so they're building out the endurance. Uh, this is the only rendering, and this is a rendering. This isn't the real thing, uh, so this is computer generated. But this is what they think it's going to look like, or this is what Lordstown has uh, has released. Uh, it's going to have the regular skateboard, the regular motors, okay. These body panels, you know, with these modifications are going to be on here. 
Uh, you can see the safety equipment. They're going to have five-point harnesses, racing seats, roll bar. Uh, there'll be uh, probably fire suppression stuff, although I don't know that they oh, – I guess they could use it. Who knows? Uh, but uh, this is going to have, uh, you know, the beta beta drive platform, and that's what we're testing here. And it's going to be the proof of concept, and it's going to show all the doubters out there that uh, this is a great truck. And I'll tell you, the computer-controlled four-wheel drive on this truck is very advanced. You know, the traction control, the torque vectoring, these hub motors, the full-time independent four-wheel motors. I mean, electronic stability control, I've, I'm repeating myself here, but this is this is the unique selling point of this truck. And, uh, you know, uh, Lordstown Motors owns this IP, at least for this application on a truck and uh, on this skateboard in any case in North America. And I think this is going to make the difference for Lordstown Motors. It does make the difference for Lordstown Motors. And it also uh, uh, simplifies the truck. You know, a lot of these trucks, if you watch these races, they have part failures a lot of times. Break a drive shaft. Uh, very common to break a drive shaft, for example. It's not going to be an issue with this truck. So I think it's going to perform well. Whether it can go without doing the charge, I don't know. If it does the charge, it does the charge. But even with the charge, it's going to be the first, 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 new, new first EV to do this race. So I'm very excited to watch the race on TV. I hope the truck gets some coverage. Anyway, guys, I wanted to get this news out and uh, some of that uh, inside information I have. By the way, as I said, I got information this truck is going 120 miles on the track. Police interceptor Crown Victoria will go 130. This is a fast truck with a cool propulsion system. I think it's going to do well. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope I gave you a couple bunch of information here you can't get elsewhere. And uh, you can check out some videos on this race online. I appreciate you guys taking a look. Uh, this is MMXUX. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.